Hi, I'm Rob Waddington. Uh, I'm here on Rutland Water and uh, my job, apart from running a B&B &B on the lakeside here, is I teach and guide fly fishing. Now, many people come to me total beginners and I get them to, to, to cast with the fly rod for the first time ever. Um, but a lot of you guys, a lot of I, I started fishing for, for coarse fish, for carp and roach, and, and it's easy to understand the casting method when, you, when you're using that. You've got a bit of weight on the end. You've got a, either a worm or a float or some, some shot, a feeder, method, whatever. Spinner here, something like that. And it's easy to cast that to any distance you want. You have to put a bit of a throw in and chuck it. But fly fishing is a little bit different because we're not using anything like this at the end of the line. Okay, so when, when we're fly fishing, a little bit different. We're not using any weights to cast. We're going to be potentially casting something as tiny and as weightless as this little nymph fly here. Now, can you imagine guys trying to throw that? There's nothing there. The strongest man on earth, strongest person on earth couldn't throw that anywhere near more than a couple of metres. So we're going to have to change. It's not about strength and power because it doesn't work. It's futile. It's about timing and technique. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So the weight that we bring into the equation, because the fly doesn't weigh anything, is, is this, the fly line. This is the weight. This is the weight that we're going to cast. But we're not going to cast it ourselves like you would do with your, your carp gear or roach gear and chuck it as hard as we can. We're not going to do that. We're going to get the rod to do the work for us. We're going to get the, the line to make the rod work for us. We're going to actually cast the line backwards completely the opposite to what we've been doing before we're going to cast it back and stop the rod sharp and that line will go over in my case I'm over my right shoulder and it's going to put a bend in the rod over the shoulder like this and then when everything's nice and tight and under tension it should just require a little pat forward and that's what we're going to show you when we get outside and do some fly casting okay so we're out here we're going to do some uh, beginners casting lessons first of all remember I told you it's the weight of the line that makes the rod do the work for us first of all I'm going to get some line out and I'm going to make it easy by, for myself I'm just going to switch the rod pull some line out and get the pull of that line on the water or on the grass in this case is pulling that line out for me When I'm teaching this, and you know, hopefully you'll come and have some lessons for me, I, I put a little mark on the line to show you how much line you need out, because we need enough line out to load this rod. And then we're ready to do the overhead cast, the classic overhead cast. So we start with the rod low down, touching the water. We have our right arm, in my case, as a continuation of the rod here, and we need the line nice and straight out in front of us. Hang on, that's not nice and straight out. That's a right mess, isn't it? That's not straight out. It's a complete mess because I've just got the line out. So I'm going to show you one cast that's going to get that line nice and straight out. So today we're going to teach you two casts. This one is going to get the line as a nice, neat, straight line before we do the overhead head cast. And this is called the roll cast. So we can do this by moving the rod slowly, slowly up and slowly, slowly back and over the right shoulder or the left shoulder if you're right handed and to create a loop of line just behind the rod not far so it's about like this a nice loop of line behind the rod and then I want you to imagine you're banging the nail in the wall banging the nail in the wall not in the floor but in the wall so the rod must go straight forward to a stop like this Lovely. Yeah. it's a roll cast we bring it back slowly D shape, D loop behind, and then out. And I'm just going to bang a nail in the wall, and then the line should go out there. Reasonably straight. Again.
the line's nice and straight out there, the rod's low, we're ready to do the overhead cast. And what we do is we just gently peel or lift the line off the, off the water and then pluck it back to a stop, just like that. And it's that gradual increase of power to the stop at the back, that's the increase of speed rather to the stop at the back, and that will kick the line straight out over my right shoulder. Then we've got to wait for the line to extend. So we wait, pause, we watch, turn around to watch the line if you want to make sure that it's absolutely straight out and it's putting the bend in the rod here. Then we can pat it forward. And this is again, it's like, let's say, banging a nail on the wall, or it's like double 20 on a dartboard. Bink. back to a stop, weight and forward. Now I'm going to just split that up into four different parts just to show you what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to split that up into four parts. We're going to peel the line off the water. Let me tell you if, you, if you just ripped it off the water like that, well, the water wouldn't let you do it. It would just whip the water to foam, kill the cast and scare all the fish away. So first of all, we gently raise the rod up to about that position. If there's a clock around, it's about 10 o'clock and all the line will be off the water. Secondly, we need to then kick this line back and we're going to pluck it back and this is like opening the curtains, pulling the curtains back in the morning, straight back or answering the phone in a bit of a mood so you pick up the phone up and you're going, who is it? So let's do that. Who is it? And we ended at that position. Now that stop at the back, that answering the phone was kicking the line straight back behind me. And we've got to leave it to unfurl behind. So we an absolute freeze, dead stop, wait for that line to go straight back, horizontally back. Now if you're not sure how long, just watch it. Turn around and watch the end of the line. When it's pulling back, before it's hit the ground, we need to pat it forward, punch it forward. And it's like, let me think, it's like swatting an insect on a wall. Bloop. Or it's like darts, double 20 on a dartboard, straight forward, like this, double 20, and that's put it all together, we peel the line off the water, we pluck it back, we pause, and we pat it forward. Notice not a lot of movement there guys, not a lot of, not, not a lot of strength and power, just a stop there, and a stop there, and then the rod's doing all the work for me. That's the basic overhead cast. So we've peeled the line off the water, plucked it back, paused, and pat it forward. P, 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 the four P's, guys. Peel the line off the water, pluck it back, pause for it to straighten out, and pat it forward. And that's the basic overhead cast. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a basic overhead cast. It's about 10 meters. But sometimes we want to cast a little bit further, so let me show you how to shoot some line to get more distance. It's still not strength and power, guys. It's all about timing and technique. So what I'm going to do is strip some more line off the reel here. Pull some more line off here, and I'm going to hold the line tightly in my left hand. So just to show you, to, to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that going in the air. I'm not going to let any line out, but I'm just going to do those two stops that we talked about. Answer the phone, bang a nail in the wall. Answer the phone, or double 20. Tick, tock. Now I want you to start to think to yourself, tick, tock, release. Tick, tock, release. I'm gonna do it now. Tick, tock, release. 
and that shot out another three or four yards there and we might catch a fish now. There are a few little faults that people have. People make mistakes. I did when I first started fly fishing. A couple of good, a couple of major faults that people do. Number one, we want to remember we want to go straight back, straight forward, and so you have to use your whole arm here, your whole forearm, almost as a continuation of the rod. If you use, most people have a trouble with this, and they kind of move the wrist like this. And number one, that's really hurting. And number two, the line's going all over the place. It's going into the water behind and into the water at front. So keep your wrist straight. Another major fault is going too, too health of leather. You know, we're used to casting carp baits 40 or 50 metres, maybe more. And what you don't want to do is, do, is to have too much strength and power because this is what you might end up with. <laughs> Did it ring any bells? <laughs> get a nice whipping sound. <laughs> but take your time, get that line back and forward. Make sure that line goes back, forward. The stop and the pause is the most important thing. Another thing that I find people have trouble getting straight away is how, when to let go of this line when we're shooting line. Now just think of this language. Tight, tight, release. Tight, tight release and a lot of people you know struggle with that to start with and you tend to let go too early so you keep it there and let go now and kills the cast same way as you'd let go of a fixed ball reel if you're just about to cast it while well, your weight's going to be still behind you same with the fly rod so keep hold of the line absolutely tight tight and then let go keep hold of the line tight absolutely tight, tight and then let go. Yeah, I'm Rob Waddington, I'm, I'm a, uh, an instructor here, I'll teach beginners, I, I'll, I'll help you sort out any problems. I run half day, full day courses. Get, get a lot of carp guys come and want to learn to fish for carp with the fly. I do a lot of carp fishing in the summer with little rubber dog biscuits on the fly rod. And I just turn up with just a rod and a net and a few dog biscuits and I can hear you all you guys with your big wheelbarrows full of stuff saying, oh look at him, he's got another one, he's got another one, he's got no gear just another dimension to carp fishing it's lovely with a little light rod you meet you directly in touch with the carp they didn't give a hell of a fight on these fly ro fly rods so or if you're a more experienced angler Rutland water it's a big old place out there 26 miles of shoreline you know I'm out there most days I can help you catch some fish mm -hmm.